So family, this story comes from New Jersey. A court has allowed a false arrest lawsuit to proceed despite cops' immunity claims. And so police arrested a person after saying that his chocolate candies were drugs and that was not the case. So let's get deeper into this story. And so this ordeal began back in May of 2018 when Fernando St. John was driving home from a family gathering when he was pulled over by police and he was pulled out of the car for some reason. And he was frisked and they requested to search his vehicle and he agreed to that. And I'm going to tell you now, you never agreed to that, but he did. And that's when his nightmare began. And so that's when officers found three sealed bags filled with heart-shaped candies that St. John tried to explain was a gift from a co-worker and the officers did not believe him apparently and they handcuffed him, arrested him and charged him with possession of a controlled substance and a traffic offense. And it was demonstrated that these officers held these candies for months and didn't even test them. So how can you charge someone with possession of a controlled substance if you're not even sure they even have a controlled substance in them? And that's why the criminal charges against this man were all dropped. Could you imagine just driving home from a family gathering and you had some candies, you didn't even think anything of it, you just tossed them in back, you know? And as you're driving home, you get pulled over because you're driving too slow and you have tinted windows, which is nonsense in the first place. But then you are now finding yourself in handcuffs because of some candies that you just simply forgot to throw out. That is the absolute state of U.S. law enforcement in 2022. These people who wear these badges are not to be trusted because they either engage in all kinds of dirty stuff or they know about it and say nothing because do not tell me this was these officers first time doing something like this please spare me